All right, so just before I begin the video, I just want to say that if you are sensitive to like uh, topics uh, like this, which is a fairly dark topic, I'm not going to lie. So if you are very sensitive to these type of topics, then I do recommend you don't watch this video. Or if you do decide to stay, then please watch this video with caution because it's about to get fairly personal, I'd say. Anyway, if you decide to stay, then I, I appreciate you. But this does start when I was fairly young, I'd say. I, got, I never necessarily got officially diagnosed with anxiety but I was fairly sure and me and my mom were fairly sure that I did have anxiety at least like a very like a very severe version of it as well which really sucked and for the majority of my childhood I was a very on edge kid I guess you could call it or a a, a, a person that just was seen as kind of like the weird kid at school I never really felt like I fit in and everything I never really had um like I just want to start off this video by saying like um I've grown up uh fatherless like I haven't really had a real father figure in my life or anything like that. Oh shit, here we go. Let's have a fight after all oh my... Okay, yeah, I grew up fatherless and I didn't have a dad. Never like a biological dad, at least. I never really knew what having a real dad was, right? If you really want to know, then I mean, this video is fairly personal anyway, so I might as well tell you. Uh, my dad, he died from melanoma cancer, which is a uh, not really rare, but it's it's like an unusual type of cancer. I mean, not really unusual either, to be fair, but he died when I was at the age of one only. So I never really got to see him anyway. I was like, what, like one or two years old or something, which is why I've like uh, off my life. I made it my mission to like find out who my dad was as a person and like because my family kept telling me I was really similar to him and obviously I didn't know what they were talking about because I didn't know who my dad was as a person or anything uh, when I was at the age of 12 I think I'd say uh, I was fairly sure that I had like severe like really really severe anxiety I started like skipping school because I just found school really really uncomfortable because again I did I just didn't fit in with the people I wasn't like a troubled child but I, I was a, a kid that I just if I didn't like to do something i just wouldn't do it you know what i mean when i would skip school you know i would just be more and more afraid of going to school if you just constantly avoid something you're not gonna get it's not gonna get any better like that's that's one piece of advice i'd tell, tell you right now if you're struggling with the same thing i'm struggling with and that's kind of where my phobia of school started to to arrive well okay wait let's see can i hit this perhaps oh i did hit it wait did he have a pearl Let's go. All right, all right. I wasn't necessarily doing bad. I mean, no, I was doing quite bad in school. My teachers and everything were really worried about it. I mean, not really, to be honest, when I think about it, they weren't really worried. So like none of my teachers or really my IRL friends or they didn't really understand what I was going through, which really sucked. I like even my own teachers and my mom as well didn't understand it either at the time. They saw it as me like overreacting in a way. They saw it as like, oh, like it's just school. Like why are you afraid of going to school? Or like they had that mentality to me, right? Which really did put a dent in in how i felt because it really made me not want to share everything i was going through because i just felt like no one would understand it so what was the point in sharing it right so i just kept it hidden i guess i will i got really good at hiding it unfortunately which is really a bad thing because um hiding what you're feeling is never a good thing to, to get good at that's one skill I never really... That's something I'm not really proud of, to be honest. I was so afraid of going outside to the point where, like... Bro, I seriously couldn't even take out the trash. It was that bad. So, in my country, we have 190 school days, I think. I did not go to school out of... I'm inclined to say around 120 to 100 days of those school days. Out of that entire year, I was probably at school for one month. In total. And, oh god, okay, wait. How low is he? We're same out. Same height. Oh, I got him. Okay. Even when I did go to school, because I got set up in like a special class or some shit, it was seriously so bad, man. Like the school system there was just, it was just fucking horrible, bro. I, I was with one other kid as well that was equally struggling just as much as I was, if not worse than me. I don't know. They thought it would make some type of like relatability to me and him, I guess. In reality, we were never really hit it off, to be honest. I remember just like going there for no reason. I would still be scared shitless of just going to school. Like I would have immense fucking panic attacks every single day. Imagine how like feeling the fear of dying just because you go to school. Like imagine having that every single day for an entire, for years. Even thinking about it, right? Makes some of you lot just question it. Like what? How is that actually a thing? 
people yeah it's a it's a thing that's the type of anxiety i was going through every single day my teachers were trying to uh help me i guess maybe in a way that were kind of like trying to make me feel stupid for what i was feeling in a way which really sounds like whoa whoa jonah really do you, do you think so but yeah that, that's that's kind of how i felt to be honest i'm ever real with you as i grew older and older right like the anxiety just wouldn't get any better like it, i was just getting progressively and progressively worse and i was just getting more sick i stayed home more than ever i was losing friends all the time i was really just thinking like why why am i living like this what is wrong with me like why why am I feeling this way? Why must I feel afraid of just interacting with people? I didn't have a dad either because I didn't have anyone to tell this because even my own mum wouldn't wouldn't really understand it. Why am I so down all the time? Like, why can't I just be normal? And I, I really got to a point where I just sat down and I brought in I brought in a knife. You know, I brought in a kitchen knife into my room and I really was thinking about it. I got horrible, horrible thoughts. And I'm just going to say, like, if you if you ever are feeling these thoughts, please seek help. I, I was sitting there with the with the blade next to me. When it got so bad, I, I, I actually took... I actually made a right choice this time for once in my life. I actually took the right choice and I started talking to people. When I tell you this was the best choice I made, I mean it. When I started talking to people, especially when I started opening up to my mom, letting her know what I was feeling, letting pretty much everyone know, uh, but my friends still didn't really understand what I was going through. They didn't understand why I would do this. I, I started going to therapy and I, I, it didn't necessarily like help per se. I didn't feel like it really helped much. But it was better than nothing because at least I, the thing is, right i came out of the therapy sessions with just more questions i felt like none of my questions really got answered that was just in my experience obviously a lot of people have different experiences with therapy and stuff like that so i'm not gonna don't take it as like you shouldn't do it you know if you give it i mean i, I don't really know how to explain it that well i'm I'm, ex I'm bad at explaining i'm sorry but you know i still struggle here and there with uh with my with my issues and shit at the last um the last year of uh, pri uh i think it was secondary school was definitely the year that i got my shit together and and uh, I started going to school again and I actually like, um I really wasn't interested in in hanging out with people that's that was the thing I really just wanted to be on my own but I started to go to school at least I was going there which was which was a step in the right direction at least I I was finally doing something you know like that was the thing you when you get help your mind kind of refreshes you know because then I actually do something productive you know and I felt like I was actually fulfilling my day even though I wasn't going to school for that long I definitely it was definitely better than staying home that that's for sure and uh as soon as I graduated secondary school, bro, I was out of there. I grabbed my diploma and fucking did. Because I didn't want any to anything to do with that school at all. Because that school system was so fucking horrible. I grabbed my shit and I left, bro. Um, with with a smile on my face. I got through everything and now I was out. And I went into high school. And high school was around the time I started to, like, blowing up on YouTube as well. Which was really sick. Which really just shows, like, you know, even in your darkest moments, there's there's bound to be a light, you know? Don't, don't give up, man. Don't give up. That's, that's the message I have for today, I guess you can call it. Whenever there is dark moments in your life, there's about to be a huge light that comes into you that will shine brighter than the sun, bro. I'm telling you. I didn't really think I would tell the story, but, you know, I really wanted to tell a story that, you know, was was quite personal and shit because I'm not afraid to tell my story. I'm not afraid to show my vulnerable side to you a lot. I mean, and if anyone is afraid to show it, you know, then, you know, you shouldn't because your vulnerable side is your strongest side. That's all I'm going to say. But I really hope you enjoyed this video and I applaud you for watching the entire thing. If you actually did, if you did, then I like you a lot. I like you a lot if you did watch the entire thing i guess if you watched the entire video comment mental health but yeah thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you later peace